So where does this leave us all, right? We're at this major historical inflection point where this new power is so strong, it's so powerful, but as we've described today, it's also being co-opted by some of the world's worst actors. And we think that the fundamental imperative is how can we all use new power to actually help the least powerful? And this is an example of a campaign that we ran for Syria. Building a movement around Syria is really difficult, right? Several years ago, um, there was very little Western public interest in Syria, despite the fact that hundreds of thousands of people had already been killed. Uh, and this was a time when aid levels were depressed because governments didn't have an incentive to, to really do that. There was no real refugee resettlement happening. So the work was to try to find a way to inspire people and mobilize people around something that they felt very distant from. And the way that we did that was we found a group of heroic civilians inside Syria who were pulling people out of the rubble after the barrel bombings. And we decided to figure out how to tell their story and then to build a movement around that story. And this is that story. في أحد الأيام تعرضت منطقة الأنصاري لقصف بالبراميل المتفجرة. حصلنا نطالع العائلة الأولى والعائلة الثانية. العائلة الثالثة هي الأم والبلد. هي فعلاً يعني الأم كانت كثير منفعلة. عندها كثيرة كانت عصبية وكانت عم تصيح يعني هي خايفة على حالة أو خايفة على أبناء. بعد الحفل الطويل حصلنا نسمع صوت الولد صوت صار يبكي الولد. حصلنا نسمع صوته وكان كثير نحل صعب. بعد ما وصلنا لولد هون صار الشغل كثير بده حذر يعني هذا ولد عمره أسبوعين أو أكثر بأي لحظة بيطب شيفه أو بيموت أو بخلاء الأطناع الساعة طبعاً هي ما يمكن تنهار يعني عمل كثير حذر يعني هاي روح بدك تتعامل معها بشكل خطير جداً يعني إنه طفل عمره أسبوعين يطب فوق برميل أو ثلاث سقوف ما يستيقوا شيء يعني وكل هالضغوطات إنه هذا الطفل يطلع أو من البراميل أو من السقوف أو من كل شيء. So, you know, that's just one story, it's just a video. But, but off the back of that, we started to build a movement around these incredible uh, folks, the White Helmets. Um, millions of dollars was raised in crowdfunding, um, and tens of millions of dollars ultimately was raised to help these guys do their life-saving work. And it changed the way uh, Western governments thought about the Syrian crisis by finally landing it as a humanitarian crisis. This is that boy, now. Here he is, he's in. He's safely resettled in Turkey, and I think you know, his story is, is a message and a lesson for all of us about you know, how we might start to use these very powerful tools um, to fight the fights that we face right now and all of you are facing that are so consequential.